Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on the side roll. We're going to do some maintenance on it, change the oil and stuff like that. So we got to get our, oops, we got to get our oil container, some oil. We're also going to be adjusting the uh, mushrooms on the drain, the drains. Da, 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 da. that'll work that way we can try to get this thing up and running today or tomorrow we got some rain coming so that's going to help relieve some of the pressure but uh we're gonna get this thing going a huge huge windstorm that came in last night and it actually blew the side roll off of the fence here when I left it last night it was up against the up against this fence and it moved it the wind normally comes from the west but this time it came from the east I gotta develop a better staking system because it is not working. I mean, it moved the whole motor and everything. Oh, darn it, I forgot the chain lube. Well, we'll get the oil changed out and then we'll go, we'll go grab some, some grease and get it taken care of. Ugh. All right, well, it shouldn't be too difficult. side now there's a plug there in there and a thing here too probably where they want me to fill it that'd be my guess all right let's go see what we can do See if this guy's got the oil coming that'll come out. This is the first time I've changed the oil on it since we've had it. grease fitting under here so I'm gonna pump some grease into it and I only found it by chance Oop. when I was messing around with the hoses the other day I don't know where it's supposed to come out at and I don't see it coming out yet Out of in Greece for a while. Whoop. Sorry about that. Oh, there it comes. Okay. So it's coming out right underneath there. Let me go check the other side. Let's check over here. Nope, nothing over there. Just there and let's see let's see if there's anything on the chains doesn't look like it <sighs> ouch ah here's here's one right there so we better grab him too the 
Let's see if there's one on the front then. Uh, yes, there is one on the front. So there's actually three grease fittings on this thing. One in the middle and one up front, one in the back. So we'll get those taken care of. All right, so the next thing we get to do is grease up the chain. This is something I did a couple times last year. So let's go. Oh, let's go. Whoop. I'd say let's go straighten this thing out. And what I mean by that is this line is pretty straight. This line's got a little wave to it, so we need to fix that first before we move it. And I guess we can walk down and move it. And then on the way back, we can get the mushrooms on the way back. That way it's not a wasted trip back. So to move it, you literally just take the crookedness out of it. If you don't, then you will snap the joint. And I know this because I snapped the joint last year. And it sucks. So we'll just go down the line and we'll straighten this sucker out. So what we got to do on these mushrooms, on these drains, so we basically got to pull this and then we just got to move that metal tab up so it's really tight up against it because they wear out uh, throughout the end of the year. The other thing we need to do is we need to turn this and open it up so we can let whatever junk's in there wash out. So we're just going to go down the line and, and uh, tighten it up. All right, so we got all the mushrooms tied back up. There's only a handful of them that need a little help. So here's the culprits. They just broke off. Actually, that one's got a double, double clamp on it. So we got to break this connection and then uh, put the new ones in. So we'll go ahead and get that started. These things can be a real pain sometimes. Especially in the wind. It really sucks in the wind. So what I like to do is to try to just keep it as as calm as we can when it comes apart that way they line back up is the plan for the hood Ugh. sometimes it doesn't work in your favor sometimes it does there's the broken mushrooms there's a couple of different types of drains uh, that you can get okay nice and tight kind of maybe I can make it a little tighter okay still got all of our good seal here now let's see if I can get this thing back together just have to be just right. All right. Now we'll put this guy on to help keep it 
making it out to be that's not always the case but got new drains so now we're ready to go and uh, we got to go hook up the hose and the opener and then we can move this out and see if we can get some water going we're supposed to get rain for let's see we're supposed to get rain Sunday Monday Tuesday and then thunderstorms on Thursday, so I think we're gonna get some good moisture, but I like to know that this thing is running uh, before it comes in. That way when we really need it, we can, we can use it. So let's go get this thing started. 